Alright guys, welcome back to another Daisy tutorial. A, a little while ago, I did a video showing you uh, using the Daisy uh, Editor mod and the Daisy Editor Loader mod how you can remove uh, objects that have been placed by default that are already there on the map from the, the Daisy devs um, and you can delete them and actually save that file with the objects deleted and put it into your server. Uh, because normally uh, you wouldn't be able to do that. Now, uh, on that video, uh, there was a comment um, asking how you put back them deleted items. And I, I can't remember what I replied, but it was just something across the line. I think there's like a, a button or there's a, a thing where you can just click to undo it and put it back on the map. Uh, but that was a bit vague. I wasn't really 100% sure. Um, so this morning I've just been, you know, messing around with it a bit and actually trying to figure out how you do it because I know there must be a way and there is. So that's what I'm going to show you is how you, I can put back an object, um, that I've deleted and you might want to do this. You might delete an object and later down the line, you might think, you know what? I want to put that object back. I deleted and you know, this, this is what this video is for. It's going to show you. So. If we just press spacebar, so I've got my free mouse going. If we go over to the right side here, to deletions, you can see all the stuff that we deleted. Um, now, I have been messing around with this already. Um, so, some of the stuff normally would be at the top here. I think the first things you delete it always goes up to the top. And what I want to show you is um, some of the vehicles. So, for example, this Land Wreck UAZ. We left click on it. You can see in the bottom left corner there, well, bottom middle of the screen, we got the UAZ there with a red square. And if we just press delete, you can now see that red square is gone and that UAZ is now on the map. And we're going to do it again with the sedan. We just left click on the sedan. It puts the sedan there. I'll tell you what, let's just move. Oh, hang on. Let's just get a better camera angle so you can see. Let's just left click on the sedan again and then the red square there. And if we just press the, the delete button, the meaning the DLE key on your keyboard, um, the red square goes and that has now put the, the vehicle or the object back on the map. And you do this with whatever object um, that you delete that you want to put back. If you wanted to um, move that object, to so say I didn't want this object there, um, and I wanted it more, I don't know, over to the right or something, you would have to just place down a fresh new object. So in your search bar on the left here, you find what you wanted, get it, and then drag a fresh new object and put it over to where you want it. Um, but again, uh, I'm not going to you know, go too much into that. I just want to show you how you put back an object uh, where it initially was in its default location. Um, anyway, so you can see we've now done that. We've now put these two wrecked uh, vehicles um, back where they originally were. Now what you want to do is you go File and just save as. Just save it as a new file. Um, I just want to scroll down to the, the, the save bar. And we'll just call this um, Altar. Um, I think I've already got a version 2 as I was testing. So we're just going to call this Altar version 3. Uh, but name it to whatever you want to it to be called. And then we'll just save that. Now that will save just with them two objects put back in. And everything else, you know, is like this. Also in the video, I think I removed a tower from over there. But again, I don't really need to go too much into that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of this. If we can. This usually crashes. Okay, it didn't crash. Sometimes it usually crashes and you can't escape. We'll just close out of this. Okay, actually, I think it's here that it crashes. I think it's crashed. Yeah, it usually does this. It crashes and takes a while. So uh, we'll just, um, yeah. Get this. We'll just get out of this. We'll delete this. I'll probably have to use Task Manager to close it down. Uh, and then I'll be back with you with the next step. All right, so after you've managed to close down the Daisy loader, uh, you want to navigate to your uh, your documents folder, and then in there, you should have a Daisy folder, and then inside there, you should have an editor folder. 
Right, once inside here, you need to find your file that you just saved. And I think it, by the looks of it, it goes in alphabetical order. So since mine's lots of A, mine's at the top here, but yours could be, you know, anywhere inside this thing. Uh, you probably won't have as much as me. Um, but yeah, just find uh, where your file is saved. Right, for me, how I transfer files and stuff is I just right click my copy and I'll right click and paste it. Uh, if you're working on the same uh, like desktop, uh, because I'm using a um, a dedicated box on my server, it's a different desktop. I can't drag and drop. But if you're working on the same desktop, you can like drag and drop your file. Um, alternatively, if you're someone that has to use like an FTP program, just make sure you use that and you upload it to the the correct uh, path. And I'll, uh, I'll show you that now. So if we just bring up my server, let me just make sure I right click. And copy that we just bring up my server i'm already roughly in the in the right file location find your server uh for me we're in my test server uh you go to your mp missions folder your your mission you're using so i'm using the chinaris plus and then inside there will be my editor files folder now if you haven't watched the first video and you're thinking i don't have this folder um i'll put a link in the description Go back and watch the first video. It shows you like how I created this, uh, and you know the steps I have to do to get to uh, this like position uh, to where you can put these files in. But again, go and watch the first video. I'll link that in the description. The only thing I will say in the first video, I said that you needed to install Daisy Editor and the Daisy Editor Loader mod. You do actually need the Daisy Editor Loader mod, but you don't need the Daisy Editor installed in your server. So if you have watched the first video and you've installed the Daisy Editor, you do not need that. Uh, just make sure you've only got the Daisy uh, Loader mod, which we can see at the bottom here on my test server where my cursor is. We've got the Daisy Editor. That's all you need. You don't need the Daisy Editor. Also, um, you should probably have this. Um, as sort of a standard mod because a lot of other mods require it if you don't make sure you've also got dabs framework installed uh, you will also need that but like i said i think a lot of other mods sort of require that mod anyway uh, but if you're running mods that doesn't um you will need dabs framework with the daisy editor loader right uh that was something i want to clear up because in the first video i said uh, you needed the daisy uh, editor mod uh, and you don't. That was my mistake, okay? Uh, so I apologise for that. But let's just go back to my mission folder. We'll go back to the editor files folder. And inside there, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to paste uh, my file. And again, if you use an FTP program, this is where you would use that to upload your file. Right, I'm just going <coughs> to... Sorry. I'm going to close out of that. Now I'm going to start my server and... We're going to show you it's uh, working. If you've already got your server started while doing this, um, it is always best, and I do try and say it in all my videos, it is always best practice to actually have your server stopped uh, before you do any work on your server. Um, usually it doesn't matter. Um, I tend to always work on my server with it up and running, and it's been totally fine, but it is best practice to um, have it offline. Um, but yeah, if you haven't got it offline, make sure you do stop it and then you restart your server again. Um, but if it is already offline, great, you can just start your server. Right, uh, the server should be loaded. We're going to jump in and uh, yeah, we'll show you them two wrecked uh, vehicles uh, back on the map. All right, guys, we're back. We're on the server and you can see right in front of me, we have got the two vehicles that we put back in. We just... Um, that button, yeah, that button. You can zoom out, and you can actually see they're there. Everything else is not back in. Well, and we just got this building that we added, which was added in the first video. But you can see that is how you redo your deletion. So if you delete something on the map and you decide that you want to put it back into your server, this is how you do it. Anyway, I hope that clears things up for you guys. Until next time, guys, have fun and peace out, and I'll catch you again soon. Sorry guys, just a quick voiceover. I just want to add to that, if you do need any assistance, you've got problems, something is not working. Uh, 
join my Discord. Link is on my uh, YouTube channel here. Join the Discord and write me a message. Create a ticket. Just uh, message me some way in Discord rather than leave me a comment on YouTube. Uh, I just want to say, I get comments saying th things like this doesn't work. If you follow the guide exactly, it will work. Um, but if you are having trouble, uh, message me, uh, come join Discord and, you know, speak with me in Discord. And uh, I'll help you that way. Doing it over YouTube comments isn't always great. And I'm not receiving all the comments. You know, I get notifications saying I've got a comment. When I go into it to read it, it doesn't show me it. Um, so I can't always reply. So now I've said um, I'm not going to respond to YouTube comments at all. It's just not worth it. It's not worth my time. So if you need any help, join Discord. Um, other than that, I'm not being rude. I'm just not going to respond on YouTube. Because YouTube's the right mess and it is, it's is—it's not worth my time trying to find out why I can't see a comment. Um, why, YouTube, why YouTube has told me I've got a comment, but it won't let me go in and see it. Anyway, that said, um, until next time guys, have fun and uh, I'll catch you again soon.